Welcome back, friends. Lost Guy here, and it's time for more Phoenix Wright 3. So, let's get back to where we were. It seems you have a visitor. Holy snap, it's Dahlia! Mr. Wright. Iris, I'm really glad to see you. Gido managed to mobilize the police by claiming a state of emergency. Not him again. Never, never mind him. We've got to hurry and unlock the sacred cavern. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. It's my fault someone is important, so important to you, is locked in there. Mr. Edgeworth, can we finish our conversation later? Alright. Let's hurry to the inner temple then. I'll see you later, right? I'm gonna follow you, aren't I? Hold it. Wait, Edgeworth, I'm coming with you guys. Hmm. Sorry, right? I can't allow you to come with us. What? I hate to be the one to break it to you, but... Maya Faye is in a rather delicate position. What do you mean by delicate position? Hmm. This isn't simply a rescue operation, right? It's also an investigation. That being the case, we can't allow members of the public to interfere. Yeah, come on, Edgeworth! If anything happens, you'll be the first to know. Please understand, right? But it's Maya! Mr. Wright. All that matters is that Mystic Maya is rescued, correct? Aye! Listen to the voice of reason for a change, Phoenix Wright. From now on, consider anything beyond Dusky Bridge to be off limits. We'll be going now. Excuse us. Son of a balls! Hmm. Ah! This is no time to be standing around, Phoenix Eight. Aren't there other things that demand your attention? Uh, she's right. Thanks for reminding me. Wait, what? Okay, let's go. Moving on. Gotta go see Bikini or Larry, I guess? February 9th, Hazakura Temple, Main Hall. Ah, oh, Bikini. Hmm. Sister Bikini, looks like she's sh shrunk some since I last saw her. Don't be so dude, Phoenix Knight. What's wrong, Sister Bikini? My, my, my. Hello, you two. How are you doing? <laughs> hmm. From the sound of that sigh, I guess she's still pretty down. Iris was here, you know. He was accompanied by that handsome Crimson Quad Quint. Is she talking about Edgeworth? It was just a courtesy call. I wasn't allowed to talk with her at all. Oh dear, it's all my fault that this has happened. Oh, I just... He was worried about my back, would you believe? What have I done to her? Only what you had to do, sister. You bravely and truthfully testified about what you saw. There's no shame in that. And you'll see to it that your testimony wasn't made in vain. Oh. Well, I don't hear anyone else saying that. Mr. Boosuits doesn't seem to share your opinion, I see. Huh? M ah! Blair. <laughs> uh, oh, yes, uh, you did great, Sister Bikini. I didn't see any of it. Absolutely spectacular! <laughs> Nipple. You two are the only ones who've said that to me. I can't shake the feeling that I just became a sh a shill to a shrew. You have a problem, Phoenix, right? No, no, no. Sure, she was brave to testify so truthfully like that. But I know she's still hiding something. Guess it's time to break the Psylocks of her. All right, I need to break you open, lady. Here we go. Magatama. Here we go. At least don't him. Sister Bikini, the truth is becoming increasingly clear to me. I'm convinced that Miss Elise Donum had a special significance to this temple. As to why she had a special significance, I believe it has to do with her ident true identity. By the way, what are the chances Maya's getting framed for murder again? What on earth are you talking about? She she was M Miss Nick Elise was an author. Just an author of picture books. To be honest, I had my suspicions almost immediately after I met her. 
the suspicions? Yes, but I didn't have any evidence to support my theory, though. But now I do. This piece of evidence proves Miss Donum's true identity. It's this. The Korean Master Talisman. Miss Donum had this charm with her at all times. Gah! Where did you... This isn't some cheap good luck charm, either. The... the... What do you think it is, Mr. Light? What, what kind of talisman like that possibly mean? It's a talisman, is it? Interesting. Whoops! <laughs> this thing speaks volumes about what Miss Donum really was, or who she was. This talisman and one other item unequivocally prove Miss Donum's true identity. The orb? Go with the orb. Well, ah, oh, balls, wrong one. You really have to think about buying one of those charms to sell here, Mr. Mr. Light? Huh? Otherwise, you just might find yourself jumped on by a little old lady on the dark moon path. What am I doing? The piece of evidence I need to show Bikini is obvious. That, that's just an old, a plain old girl like charm, so please, just give it back. Oh no, I don't think so. This thing speaks volumes about who... Alright, one other item. Oh, uh, shoot. Uh, uh, the, the scepter? Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, what the hell is it? Um... I need a picture of Elise. Where is it? Where's the picture of Elise gone? Do we no longer have the picture of Elise? The Magatama? The Magatama. Nope! Ah, uh, okay, well, the Shishito? Ah, uh, the Scepter? Ah, uh, oh! The Hood! What, no? Each one has a ball! Oh, damn it. Uh, okay, let's see here. Talisman itself? Okay, let's see here. Magatama. Oh, here we go. Maybe in here? There's nothing in there. Hmm. No. Huh. The hanging scroll? The painting is obscured by this gravy stain at the moment. Mm. But this scroll shows the master the Cardane channeling technique. The crest at the top is the sign of that honorable title. The very same crest that adorns the talisman the victim carried with her. Yeah! This crest is reserved for the master of Cardane. Oh, and I told you that nonsense. I I've got no idea what you're talking about. The new master, Maya Fey, told me. What? What? Y you mean that Acolyte is Misty Fey's daughter? Yes. She should know that! Hmm. Are you sure? Yes. In fact, since her first daughter passed away, Maya's Misty Fey's sole successor. Hmm. Me. Mystic Misty! Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 all right! That broke everything! Unlock successful! You know, it's real- wait, if that's Misty, holy god! Wait, if that's Maya's mother... That'd be bad, it's, she it can't be the mother, right? That'd be just knows her. Okay. Mystic Elise graced us with her presence about a week ago. When she showed me the talisman with that mark on it, well, I nearly fainted. No one had seen her in 17 years. That's when she disappeared. What is the significance of this talisman, sister? The Korean talisman? It's a symbol of the Master of Korean. The bear must carry it with them always until their death. Until their death. So at least Dunham was really Maya's mother, huh? Oh, God! Huh. It was Misty Fay, 
The master of the command channeling technique. Oh my god, it was Misty. I was questioning how we were going to wrap up the mother. The mother's murdered? Maya was right there. She didn't recognize her own mother. Pearl didn't recognize her own aunt. Maya said her name, didn't she? How come none of them... Okay. The truth comes out at last. It looks like we're making some headway here. Tell me, sister. After 17 years, why did she choose to show her stuff now? Because something happened that called her out of hiding. What? what happened? Well... Hmm? Earthquake! Wh what's happening? Uh, it can't be. Uh, earthquake! Oh! oh my goodness, the inner temple. This kind of tremor might... The inner temple? The sacred tab cavern training hall, it might very well cave in. Wh what Maya! Every member of that Fey family is getting murdered, oh my god. It... It seems to have passed. Well, we can't just stand here and do nothing. Let's go. What? Where? To the inner temple, of course. Where else? Mm. We're not allowed there. Sister Bikini, we'll finish this later, alright? Of course. You're not alone now. People have been hurt. I must get some first aid kits already. Come on then, Phoenix Light. They won't bar you from entering as long as I'm with you. Th thank you. Right at that moment, I had the worst feeling in my gut. We just had an earthquake, and by the way, Edgeworth can't handle earthquakes at all. Yep, there it is. I wonder if he's alright. You look worried. Are you thinking about Miles Edgeworth? Uh, come on, let's go. <laughs> so she knows! She knows about the earthquake problem. I guess they had an earthquake in Germany, huh? Okay. So you're telling me Maya's mother was moited. She had... Okay, well that's not so good. We've got to hurry to the inner temple and... Right! Ah! What are you doing here? Ugh. How could I have... Uh, how do you expect us to understand if you don't speak up? Yo! Hey! Why am I the one getting whipped? Shh! She's gone. N no The defendant Iris. She's gone. Gone where? She fled. She escaped. What? Oh, crap. Alright, well, that's not good. So, it was just now. During the... Hmm. It's easy to see Edgeworth's one and only weakness. His fear of earthquakes. It led to his father's death, after all. He should have known better than to escort the defendant alone. As soon as the ground started shaking, everything went dark before my eyes, and... I stupidly passed out. That incident haunts you to this day, doesn't it? Hmm. That's no excuse for letting the suspect get away. I can't believe I let it happen. Right, the inner temple area is a dead end. So she only could have escaped to this side. We haven't seen her. Then we need to get a manhunt underway now, and search Eagle Mountain from top to bottom. Wait, Edgeworth! Have you thoroughly checked the inner temple yet? Don't be ridiculous, why would I? The inner temple is like an island. There's no way to escape but to cross. No, that's not it. Iris isn't the type of person to run away, Edgeworth. What are you talking about? Sister Bikini mentioned something when we were with her. She said that the sacred cavern might have caved in because of the quake. Then you think Iris might have gone to the inner temple to check on the situation? Listen, Edgeworth. Blech. Listen, Edgeworth. I'm sure she's at the inner temple. A manhunt is not necessary. Right? Let's not waste any more time. We need to get to the training halls. Sacred cavern now. Hmm. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Yoshi. February 9th, Inner Temple Training Hall. Fortunately, the sacred cavern didn't cave in. But, what we found 
but something none of us would have ever expected. What? Son of a bitch! How can there be? Even more locks. What is the meaning of this? Huh? Iris! Hmm. Iris, please tell me. What the hell is going on? What? To be continued there. By the way, if we just won for 15 more minutes last episode. Hey, I always cut off a little too early, don't I? But I try not to make these go too long since, you know, Jinx has got to edit these. Now what? By the way, say, uh, to be continued in the middle of investigation, by the way. February 9th, uh, Inner Temple Returning Hall. Right? Is this what Godot was talking about? Yeah, the trick locks. Now then, Iris, please remove these at once. Um, Mr. Edgeworth, I'm afraid I can't. It... it's not possible for me. What? During the earthquake, when the cavern was in danger of caving in, Iris escaped. And I know that there was only one lock when I last came here. So you're saying that you can't undo the new locks? Yes. If only I was stronger! Edgeworth, how are you feeling? You look a little pale in the face. Like you're one to talk with your face all green. Miles Edgeworth, go and get some air. I'll watch over the suspect. You go and get a grip on yourself. Don't be ridiculous! I'm perfectly fine! There's no telling what sort of mistakes you could make in your current state. Go and get some rest. That's your only concern now, Miles Edgeworth. Hmm. I didn't expect him to get whipped. Understood. I'll handle the investigation in the garden. You take care of things here. I did not expect him to get whipped, ever. Edgeworth. He's got so much pride that he's probably off crying in a corner of the garden. Pride is simply another trap that hinders us in our lives. She's one to talk. That said, one must have pride to be effective on the job. At any rate, it seems that this is where we part ways. Phoenix, right? I'm going to stay here and see if I can help solve these bothersome puzzles. I see. Well, thanks for your help. Now then, do you mind if I ask you a few things, Iris? No, not at all. Alright, here we go! Escape! Why did you make a run for it, Iris? I... I'm sorry. I heard the inner temple had been severely shaken by the strong earthquake we had. I... I was so worried. I just had to come and see. In other words, you didn't run away to escape the law. At least we're clear on that. I can't tell you how relieved I was when I saw the secret cavern was alright. But... But what? Then I saw these chains here. I saw these extra locks that someone had put on the sacred cabin's door. And... Hmm... Who in the world would have done something like this? The Trick Lock! These Trick Locks are a sacred treasure of the Kadain tradition. There are hundreds of ways to set them. That's why only the person who set the, clock, the lock can open it. And you aren't the one who set these locks? I don't think it's that simple, Francesca von Karma. When we were here the first time, there was only one lock. But now, somehow, there's five of them. What does that mean? It means that someone wanted to secure the place even more. And they wanted to secure it before you got here, Iris. Presumably because they wanted to make sure Maya couldn't get out. This means that Iris can only open one of these locks. The first one. Hmm. Yes, that's correct. What? What? Yeah, where's Godot? Iris, try to think, please. Isn't there any way around these? This? Hmm. 
Well, like I said, there are hundreds of different ways to set these locks. I suppose if I went through every combination with each one, I could remove them. But... It will take some time, won't it? Yes, about a day if I had to guess. A whole day? Well, that's better than leaving the locks in place. Will you, will you do this for us? Sure, I'll do whatever I can. We've got to wait another day? Hang in there, Maya. You're going to have to call on your inner strength now. The night of the crime. You know what, Iris? There's still one thing I don't quite get. And what might that be, Phoenix Knight? I think it's obvious. Iris, on the night of the murder, where were you? Huh? Please, Iris, don't give me that look. You told us that you were in your room at Hazakura Temple at the time of the incident. But you were seen that same evening at the Inner Temple. And then... You were spotted at the scene of the crime in Hazakura Temple 2. Being spotted at both Hazakura Temple and the Inner Temple. It's as if you were... Well, Iris, I think it's about time you told us the truth. Son of a bitch! Only three, though. I knew it. There's something going on here that we don't know about. Hmm. Damn it. Alright, well, uh, let's go, um... Let's go help Edgeworth. The Garden. February 9th, Inner Temple Garden. The cops are still coming to the place. They look pretty nervous. I'd be nervous, too. It's gotta be a tough job. Alright, he's here. That's why. Especially with someone giving you the evil eye the whole time. Mutter, mutter. How could I have done that? Wow, I can't believe it's still bothering him. Edgeworth? Hey, Eddie. Oh! Hmm. Hey! Don't you dare run away! <laughs> he ran! What do you want, right? What do I want? You came here to laugh at me? Then get on with it. Go on. Uh, go on. Laugh away. Uh, I was ready to hug it out with him, but he's just the same prideful Edgeworth. You know, it's things like this that make me wonder. Alright. You went back to the criminal affairs department, right? You said you wanted to look into something concerning Iris? Yes. And thanks to what I found, I was reminded of something terrible. What's that? Investigation. You guys are putting a lot of effort into the investigation of the garden here, huh? There's a crime... There's a high chance this is the actual scene of the crime, that's why... You mean because of the writing in blood and the talisman in the snow? Exactly. As you know, those things couldn't have been planted after here after the murder. But surely, you don't suspect... Maya, do you? Hmm. We have to treat everyone as a suspect. Maya as well as Iris. It's our job, right? Earthquakes! So, I guess you still haven't gotten over your fear of earthquakes. No, thankfully my nightmares have stopped. But still, if the ground gives even the slightest tremor, I find myself short of breath. Seventeen years ago when we were little school kids at the elementary school... Oh, we're gonna backstory this now. Edgeworth found himself in the middle of a murder. It all started with that big quake that hit the courthouse. Yes, I was stuck- uh, yes, I was stuck in the elevator with my father, who was a defense lawyer. We were deprived of oxygen and we passed out. That's when it happened. That single gunshot shattered my whole life. I lost everything that day, all because of that earthquake. My dreams, my family, and myself. Hmm. It's been more than 17 years now. And that case was finally resolved three years ago, right? You think I don't know that? I was there, but... 
It was such a shock. I never imagined I could be so wrong about myself. And my life. I'm sorry, right? There's nothing else I can say. Not after you chose to become a liar for my sake. And not after you saved me. Edgeworth, you're stronger than you think. So no more of the self-pity, okay? I get why people ship these two right now. Okay, here we go. There was something that bothered me about her from the moment we met. I felt like I'd seen her somewhere before. No, wait. Not somewhere. It felt like I'd seen her in the court before. So you went back to the Criminal Affairs Department to look for her file? Yes, I checked over every case file I've ever worked on. That was right. I had seen her face before. Six years ago. Six years ago? It was my first appearance in court. And as cases go, it was my worst nightmare. So? Who is she? Hmm. I'm sorry, right? I can't give that information away to a member of the general public. What? Why not? It might be a crucial piece of the puzzle that solved this case. Phoenix knows damn well who she is. Why is Phoenix just messing around right now? He doesn't want to reveal his cards, I guess. The woman I knew was the daughter of a jewelry store owner. She had nothing to do with Iris and Asakura Temple. And neither did the case. No, that woman is completely unrelated to this murder. This is the same bridge, the same river, this is the same temple where that happened. What is, she, what is he talking about? Unrelated? Yes, I can say that with complete confidence. You're wrong, Edgeworth. He's totally related to this case. I need to fill Edgeworth in. I need to explain the connection between Iris and the woman Edgeworth knew. Are we really gonna do this? Alright, here we go. Iris! Apparently Iris was taken in by the sisters here at the temple when she was a child. However, however, we still don't know much about her past. So we're looking into it. That reminds me. Edgeworth went back to the Criminal Affairs Department to look up some stuff on her. I should ask him what he found. We already did! Why are we not revealing things? Why are we not revealing things? I'm confused. What do you think about this, Edgeworth? Sorry, right? You're a defense attorney, and I'm a prosecutor. It wouldn't be right for us to discuss things so intimately. But you were acting for the defense in the trial today! But the balls! Saving... Oh, oh let's try showing the map, that's a good idea. Ah, it didn't work! Uh... Like, objection! This map! Another victim we know nothing about. Same as always. I hope you'll tell me if you know something about a mystery woman, right? I know that Elise Stoneham was no ordinary visitor to the temple. But I- but her true identity... could be a useful weapon for the defense. And I can't give that away just like that. Can't give it up that easy. Need dinner first. No, oh, right, I see it. Maybe some wine. Uh, Iris Hood? Iris gave that to you, didn't she? Yes, and it really works. It helped my fever go down quicker. I'm sure of it. So you say, but your face is as white as a sheet. And sweat is running down your cheek. Anyway, it seems to me like there's something going on between the two of you. Uh, actually... I don't know exactly why, but there's something about Iris that just tugs at me. I can't figure out whether I feel like I know her, or I don't know her at all. It's really weird. Hmm. Magatama! Really? We don't want to ask him about the Magatama? Really? He won't? Really? Uh, attorney's badge. Is that your attorney's badge? <laughs> Interesting. I never imagined I'd ever see you wearing one of these, right? It's because of you that I became one, Edgeworth. Hmm. Not that I have any regrets. I really don't. Hmm. If you're trying to say thanks, you can start by saying it a bit louder. <laughs> well, why have the weather day to do anything? Okay.
Nope. The staff? Nope. The blood. Nope. Oh, 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 that's a good idea. Nope, uh, it would've been good if we could've used Dahlia somehow. Oh, Mia was at that case. One of the biggest names in the world of law, as I'm sure you'll agree. For better or for worse, we were only destined to meet once in the courtroom. I know, I read all about it. She was whipping your ass! It was the first time for the both of us. Two novices, head to head. I can still remember how downhearted I felt after that trial ended the way it did. I wonder if Mia felt the same way too. How? It seems Pearl was trapped on this side of the river on the night of the murder. Did she tell you anything? Listen, right? She's just a kid. I can't force things out of her. You'll have to be the one to find out what she knows. Hmm. Maya. I don't know Maya Faye very well. But it seems to me that the girl is always landing herself in trouble. It seems to me that you know her better than you think. I do sincerely hope she's going to be alright. Me too, for obvious reasons. About yourself. If you want to know how to run the perfect trial, there's a lot to study and learn. Oh, and is that what you're studying about right now? I've sat at the prosecutor's bench for trials in five different countries now. The first thing you must do is gain complete mastery of the language. It's quite a task. I never get anywhere then. It's taken me a lifetime to sort of master one language. Francesca. It's been more than a year since I last saw Francesca myself. But it seems that she's been dying to see you again. <laughs> she really said that? I believe she wants to eat you for breakfast. Or to put it another way, with you silly. Might be into both of those things. Literally and metaphorically. Okay, now I'm really interested in these things. Oh! Go on, let her have her way. It would make for a great anecdote about my trip. <laughs> Forget it, Edgeworth! Holy crap! Ah, time for the butt. Apparently, he had become something of an apprentice to Elise Donum. Yes, something like that. He did this portrait for me earlier. That's great! Hmm. Let's just leave it at that about Larry, alright? Looks like someone's still mad at the butts for his performance in court today. <laughs> Bikini! It's crossed my mind once or twice that her testimony might be a bunch of lies. There certainly are a lot of problems with it. The thing is, as far as I can tell, she has no reason to deceive us. I believe she did meet the defendant at the inner temple and witnessed the murder too. The one in the Hasakura Temple courtyard, in any case. Gumshoe! My boyfriend. <laughs> it was just with detect I was just with Detective Gumshoe. I treated him to some pasta. Really? Who did your boy, huh? You owe him that much? After all, it's your fault his salary's so low. How's it my fault? And look, if you're going to buy the guy lunch, at least get him something decent, okay? Gumshoe practically lives on pasta and noodles already. But I did order some extra Parmesan cheese on top. He was crying tears of joy as he dug into it. It was quite moving. It was quite moving. All you had to do was give the poor guy a raise. Why would I do that? He's something of a legend, I hear. Don't say it like you don't know anything about him. Tell me what you know. It's a bit strange, actually. If he really was anything special, I should have heard about him by now. I'm always well informed about the rookies coming into the prosecutor's office. You know. Then you mean! He isn't anything special? Hmm. You should already know the answer to that. Although, there's one other possibility. What's that? He could have come into the profession from a different channel. Because he was defense attorney! Diego Armando. What different channel? There's more than one way to become a prosecutor, right? Perhaps he started off as a defense attorney, but decided it wasn't for him. A defense attorney? I didn't even know you could switch sides like that, despite the fact I had you do it earlier. 
All right. No, no, don't, don't move, don't move. Examine, examine. Don't touch anything. I guess you. Look at this. I suppose you've noticed that Maya's name is written on this lantern. Weirdly, it's pretty hard to miss, you know. It's written in Miss Donum's blood. He was probably forced up against the lantern by the killer. And with her back against the lantern, she wrote that name with her finger. That's why it's written upside down. You think the victim wrote this herself? Isn't that the obvious conclusion? But why would she write Maya's name? Hmm. I don't think that's something I want to discuss with you. Hey, 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 come on. Come on, it's me. Phoenix. 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 <laughs> There's a charm or something poking out from the snow. It looks pretty old. There's a leather cord tied to it, too. It belonged to the victim. We're sure of that now. It's going in the evidence room once the investigation is over. So hands off, right? You don't need to tell me that. Well, our dear friend Larry just tried to steal it when no one was looking. He probably just wanted something to remember his esteemed teacher by. Maybe. A little lantern, a little statue. It's small, but the whole place is incredibly well kept. There's just one thing that's troubling me. Everything else is covered in snow or frozen over. But the ice in this bowl has been broken by someone. Uh, maybe one of the detectives washed their face in it or something. Don't be ridiculous, right? No detective would be th that careless at a crime scene. He's really angry. I better not say it was Gumshoe or his salary's gonna... gonna pay. <laughs> oh god, it was gum she wasn't it? Now ah, this again, okay. Alright, let's look down here. Why is this o the only area with no snow? Someone must have cleared it away. What other explanation is there? Of course, I played the what-if game as well. But when I asked our trusty bungler, Detective Gumshoe, he said it wasn't him. I suppose Edgeworth has a point. Whoever cleared the snow away must have had a reason to do so. I just can't imagine what that reason could be. Neither can I. What the hell? These are torches of the naked flame variety. I guess you need all the light you can get up here in the mountains. Accordingly to Detective Gumshoe, they were lit on the night of the murder. Well, Maya was training up here, so there's nothing strange about that. Except, apparently, they don't light these torches for training sessions. What? I heard that too much light isn't conductive, conducive to spiritual training. Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm. Right, go now. Move to the gate. February 9th, Inner Temple Gate. Gonna be Gumshoe or Pearl? I'm finally getting to the bottom of this case. I can count on Iris to break those locks, so I should try to gather more clues. From Sister Bikini, Edgeworth, Gumshoe, and Pearls. I guess let's go see Pearl. Suspension Bridge. February 9th, Dusky Bridge. It's weird that there's no one around all of a sudden. It sure gets quiet up here in the mountains when you're all on your own. Speaking of alone, I guess I should go check out the shack just down the path. Maybe I'll find Larry there sulking again. Do I really want to talk to Larry, though? No, I don't. Let's go. February 9th, Heavenly Hall. Oh! Mr. Nick! I knew we were going to run the Pearl here. Pearls, what are you doing here? N nothing What about Miss Maya? Is she all right? Um, well, we don't know yet. Oh, I see. Hey! What do you think you're doing here, Nick? Larry. This is a loser shack where losers get together to lose themselves. This is the what? Hey, we find comfort in each other's feathers, okay? You got a problem with that? Look, Mr. Nick. Miss Eloise got a picture of me. That's, um, great, Pearls. We're going to gather firewood now. We'll be cooking some health rotten potatoes over a miserable little campfire. Stay out of her way. 
I don't believe this. Why can't he try getting fired up over becoming a better man? No one believes a word I say anymore. Listen to me, Pearl. You don't want to trust this kind of guy, okay? He only let you down. Oh, Mythic Maya. Well, let's talk to Pearl here, Larissa Sketch. Larry, is there something you want to tell me about this picture? <laughs> I've got nothing to say to you, Nick. My life's here now with Pearl. Two losers cooking potatoes together forevermore. What am I going to do with him? Alright then. What do you think about this picture? Pearls? Oh, that's me. <laughs> uh, I think it's really well drawn. I can't draw out, so I think it's really amazing. See? Someone appreciates it. It's tough getting the flames to look like that, you know? It's supposed to be Sister Flowers flying through the air, isn't it? I love it. It's like a dream. A wonderful fantasy. No, 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 no. It wasn't a dream. She really flew. I'm telling you, Iris really flew that night. Huh? But Mr. Louise? Hmm? Not you too, Pearls. Please don't look at me like that, Pearl. Don't look at me like I'm some kind of nutcase. I beg of you. I guess this picture really is a representation of what Larry thinks he saw. Okay, so I was half asleep when I was here on that night. But I was wide awake after the lightning struck. And I saw what I saw. It was exactly like I drew in the picture. From that angle, he's looking... I don't know. And it looks like I don't have any choice but to take that sketch at face value. Hey, what's with that look of doubt on your face? Night of the crime. Um, Pearls. Yes, Mr. Nick? I've been meaning to ask you about the night of the murder. Huh? Where were you and what exactly were you doing when it all happened? I, um, I... I was just, well, I'm just a kid, you know. I, I'm sure what that wasn't doing... Doesn't what uh, I, I'm sure it doesn't really matter what, what I was doing, that, that does it, Mr. Nick? Sorry, Pearls, but yes, it does. On the night of the murder, you were supposed to be in Miss Donham's room reading a book together. But Miss Donham was murdered, and you, Pearls, were at the inner temple. Yeah. Just what exactly happened that night, Pearls? I'm really sorry, Mr. Nick. Wait, 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 wait. I knew this might happen, but I'm confused why it would happen. Because she knows damn well we can see her Psylocks. Uh, I've been a bad little girl. I know I'll be punished. What are you talking about, Pearls? My spiritual power, it has disappeared. What? Her powers have disappeared? How is that possible? What do you mean your powers have disappeared, Pearls? It, it's all over for me. A spirit medium who can't channel spirits is like a painter who can't paint. Uh, hey, what are you looking at me for? Pearls, did you try to channel someone's spirit right here in Hazakura Temple? Tried but failed, perhaps? Uh, ah! Way to go, Nick. You made her cry. That's... That was really cruel of you, huh? Just as I thought. I'm gonna have to break her Psylocke to get the truth out of her. Alright. Time to beat up a little girl. No. Okay, let's go... Let's go see everyone else first. Suspension bridge. Just gonna leave and come back. She's like, jeez, she's so crying. Jesus. Jesus, all that salt from her tears must be getting rid of all the freaking ice. Yeah, everyone's hiding stuff from Phoenix, by the way. Jeez. February 9th, has a temple, your main gate. I wonder if Sister Bikini has gone back to the main hall already. I haven't seen Gumshoe around for a while either. Maybe they're having a cup of tea together somewhere. But Gumshoe is Sister Bikini's type. <laughs> oh my god, please tell me that's what's happening. Bug's like, oh god. Nope, she looks freaked. Please tell me Gumshoe was wearing stuff under that trench coat. February 9th, how's the temple? Main hall. Well, where's the damage? How's this? How's the second cavern? 
It looks like it survived, but we have a bigger problem now. Are you telling her? I told Sister Bikini all about it. About the five locks that were stopping us from getting inside the sacred cavern. Hmm. But who, who could have done that? The only people who know how to set those twig locks are those of the Kuwain tradition. We have Iris at the Sacred Cavern trying her best to open them up for us right now. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to talk with you about, Sister Bikini. Oh yes, we were in the middle of a chat, weren't we? Yes, you were telling me how the Master of Crane disappeared 17 years ago. I want to know why Misty Faye suddenly appeared at this temple. It was about a week ago when Mystic Aris, no, I mean Mystic Misty, arrived. After she showed me the talisman that proved she was the master, she said, Someone is trying to destroy the Korean tradition's main family rhyme. I'm here to put a stop to them. Someone was trying to destroy the main family line. There's only one heir to the title of master at any time. They're usually the eldest. A child becomes the new master of Korean and her daughter's the main family. All the mediums become branch family members with no hope of controlling the clan. That's why nothing has changed throughout the history of the clan. Branch families always have and always will plot to erase those of the main family line. Is the power of the master worth this much bloodshed? Rain channeling technique. You believe in the technique, don't you, Mr. Light? You know its power is real. Yes, I do. It's been three years since I first met Maya. In that time, I've seen her channel the spirits of the dead plenty of times. Mostly as Mia. During the Master Mask case. And during Maggie Bird's trial, too. Thanks to Maya, Mia's always on hand to help me out when I need her the most. The Kawain technique has made a huge difference to the world, you know? I mean, the ability to commune with the dead, that's true psychic power, you know? Members of the tradition have always been there behind every important reader. Who wouldn't respect such a tremendous skill? I suppose so, but... With all that power and influence, I find it c I kind of expected you'd be really rich by now. Are you saying we're poor, Mr. Wright? <laughs> You're very direct, aren't you? People don't believe in it anymore, you see. All because of one better mistake. A mistake? What mistake? It was 17 years ago. That's when everything came crashing down. All because of that incident. That incident? Is she talking about what I think she is? I'm sure the records still exist if you're interested. Locked up, of course. It was called the DL6 incident. That's the name of the file. The DL6 incident, incident, huh? Yeah, we dealt with that already. We're going all the way back to game one. The DL6 incident. I know it well. I handled a related case just three years ago. Hmm? Ah, that's right. So it was you who was the defense attorney on that case. We're going all the way back to the start, huh? A murder that took place 17 years ago. It was the first time in the country's history the police ever used a spirit medium. The idea was to channel the victim's spirit to learn the identity of the murderer. And the medium performed the channeling was Misty Fay, Maya's mother. Through missing Misty's channeling, the name of a certain man surfaced. Armed with that as evidence, the investigators were spurred into action. But that man... He was found not guilty, wasn't he? That's right, he was. And the case remained a mystery. In other words, we failed. And that's because the ghost didn't actually know who killed him. It was the first case in the, the world had ever seen the Korean tradition openly involved in. It was all over the media, the public, the judiciary, the people of Korean village. Everyone judged her. Everyone said Mystic Misty's powers were a sham. And then she just disappeared, vanished, while well, everyone still thought of her as a fraud. But I know the truth. Misty Faye's spirit channeling wasn't a sham at all. Of course it wasn't. 
And since you managed to reveal the truth, we're finally making a comeback. The Korean tradition is starting to recover our rest. But the new master weird in the power of the Quen. Does she mean Maya? Family feud! The spiritual power of the Korean channeling technique is in the bud. Maya's told me the exact same thing before. We, the women of the Fae family, have always been spirit mediums. It's because the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us. According to Maya, only the women in the family can inherit that power. I'm actually curious, because Mia was a lawyer, would she have just let Maya take over the family? As the master? I think she probably would have, huh? The main family's bloodline stemmed directly from Mr. Kami. But with each new generation, only one daughter becomes the new master. And the ones who don't become branch families... And the ones who don't become branch families, right? That's right. And it's always the cause of tragedy. Hmm. You know, Maya had a sister too. An older sister named Mia. Oh yes, I've heard of her. What? You know about Mia? Of course. She became a liar in the hopes of discovering what happened to her mother. And lost her life. As a result. You know what mystic Mia, Mia is rumored to have said? She said it wasn't only because of her mother that she became a liar. She also didn't want to fight with her sister over the leadership of the tradition. Ah, oh, there it is! <laughs> really? Well, she saw what happened to her own mother, Mystic Misty, as she grew up. I guess Mystic Mia got tired of seeing all the rivalry between her mom and her aunt. Right there. There's the aunt. That's right. Mystic F Misty Faye had an older sister, too. And Misty, having superior powers, managed to usurp the master seat from her. Mystic Mrs. Sister is Mystic Morgan, as you probably know. Yup! Morgan. There's a name I know well. We're referencing this one now. There's so much information dump right now. It was a year ago now at Maya's home, Kanane Village. What she did was terrible. It was all so she could make her own daughter the next master. I suppose if you know about Mystic Morgan's daughter, then you must have already realized that Iris... Huh? Iris? What's Iris got to do with any of this? That Iris is... Mystic Morgan's daughter. What? Ow! Wait, 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 what? What? Has everything Dolly has done a plot to just... Has it all just been a big, a big play? The two million dollar gem? Being in a gem fam- a jewel family? Like... Is she just a giant mastermind? You know, if she's Morgan's daughter, holy crap, right? Because, yeah, Morgan's cold-blooded, so she'd work out very well as Morgan's daughter. But Pearl is Morgan's daughter. Well, Morgan had two daughters. But why would she hide Dahlia? You have no idea how tempted I am to make this a, uh, a cliffhanger right now. I'm so tempted to make this a cliffhanger. Long pipe. <coughs> okay, we're gonna get <coughs> walk out here. <coughs> Can't do voices. There's water in the wrong pipe anyway. <coughs> <coughs> All right, the water bottle decided we're cutting here. Cliffhanger. Oh my god. <coughs> <coughs> it's in the wrong pipe. Oh my god. Oh god. Ah. Uh. All right. So that right there is the game for now. Next time. Holy crap, next time! What? But for now, that right there is the game. I had fun, hope you've been watching. That's what's all about, isn't it? Having fun, these come by, and see you next time. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs>